Hi, if you've got a child who plays sport or is very active, then it'll be useful for you to know about these four conditions which I'm about to describe affecting the lower limb so that you can act quickly to prevent any long-term implications for your child's growth. The first is called Freiburg's disease, which is at the second metatarsal of the foot, and this would uh, cause pain around the middle part of the upper surface of the foot. It leads to bony damage due to the quite close or tight joint configuration in that part of the foot. The second is Severs disease, which is at the back of the heel, and it's where the Achilles tendon joins into the heel. Pain is felt here. It's caused due to the tendon pulling on the bony attachment site, and that can cause damage to the growth plate in that area. The third is Osgood Schlatter's disease, which is pain at the front of the knee, just below the kneecap. It's a similar condition where the tendon pulls at the bony attachment site. The fourth is called slipped upper femoral epiphysis, which is at the hip. That can cause pain around the hip and the front of the thigh and also the knee. That's more common in boys than in girls and it's more so in large boys who are either very tall or overweight. So just recapping, there's the upper part of the middle of the foot, the back of the heel, the front of the knee, and the hip. So these are caused by overload. They need to be x-rayed to confirm the diagnosis. They always need rest, sometimes need immobilization, uh, occasionally need surgery. Three of those conditions are called disease. They're not really a disease. It's just a, it's just a title given to a bony injury caused by activity levels. So I hope you found this information useful in order to help you act quickly for anything that might be urgent in the health of the people who you love most, your children. Thanks for watching.